Hey y'all, have you ever tried playing tunes like Cripple Creek or Rolling My Sweet Baby's Arms? Maybe even shucking the corn and it just doesn't sound quite right. Maybe you want it to sound just like Earl's doing it. Well, Earl used a specific trick to get a little bit more tone out of that third string and I'm going to try to show it to you right now. All right, y'all. It's important to remember that this bend technique I'm gonna show you formed from a habit that Earl picked up because the intonation in his neck was off. So he would have to bend to get the right note. And it kind of forever changed how we played the banjo as far as that aspect goes. So let's get right to it. Songs like Cripple Creek, Rolling In My Sweet Baby's Arms, and others use this bend technique. And uh, Cripple Creek is a good example. We'll start with that. Everybody knows the beginning of Cripple Creek, and it starts, and especially on paper, it looks and sounds like this. But that kind of sounds a little bit plain. Earl uses this bend technique to get a louder, more, well, a big sound out of it and we're gonna try it out. He still does the two to three slide right here, but he's gonna bend it while doing the two to three slide. So instead of, it's gonna sound like this. So instead of sounding like this, with the bend, it'll sound like this. how much bigger and fuller that sounds. Let's try it a little bit slower. Now slow, it doesn't really sound that great, but whenever you get up to speed, it just blasts. Rolling in my sweet baby's arms is another good tune that uses a bend, especially on this leg. Now on a lot of tablature, that's how that lick is played. It's a two, three slide into that lick. But Earl also used a bend right there. So instead of the two to three slide, and instead of the two to three slide with a bend, he would just bend right there on that third fret. And it would sound like this. Slow that down for you right here. The places you can put a bend are very numerous on the banjo, and there's other simple licks that you can add bends to as well, like this one. that lick everywhere with Scruggs style banjo. Uh, it's usually just but adding a small bend in there adds just a little something. And you notice whenever it's not up to speed, it sounds a little unusual, but up to speed. Sounds really good. Another lick's like. That lick sounds just a little bit better with a bend in it.
you're not limited with the tempo whenever using these bends. You can play fast songs like Shucking the Corn. Just over time, you'll get better at doing it with the slides and bending at the same time. So, Shucking the Corn with the bend will sound more like this. <laughs> And over time, you'll be able to get at that same tempo and use it with the rest of your banjo picking. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I remember whenever I first learned all these Scruggs bends, it really changed my playing and took me to a different level. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this page. It helps me know that you like what you're seeing. All right, guys, keep picking.